as you've seen. Uh, the old sled's not a big fan of staying outside in minus 40 for, you know, four or five days. She doesn't like to run too good after that, but took her for a ride around the yard and it's, uh, it's running good now there. It's just the official startup that that's the, the main problem with it. But she's doing good. Hopefully take it out for a ride tomorrow. It was feeling like minus 40 something or 37 today too. So didn't go anywhere. But it's supposed to be like minus eight tomorrow. And then for next week, the cold is supposed to be is minus 11. So that's good. Uh, so should get a lot of riding in. Got to go back to school on Sunday night though. So that's kind of a bummer. Then I'll be back on the weekend and I'll get some more riding in. Um, just realized I got a big missing a part of my sticker on my hood um but yeah so uh since i gotta get a video up because since it's you know freezing uh, i'm gonna post this little video uh kind of a little walk around of the old sled because apparently i guess i've never done that i don't know why a lot of people want to know about it it's pretty much everything that's on my channel anyways so why not put more of it um but yeah, give me a second here. I'll just gotta turn the camera around. All right, so here's the wagon in the messy garage. Um, but it's a 2013 RS. Got it uh, down south at uh, factory recreation there. You know, getting rid of it. Cause that's the year the, when I got it, it was the year the new style came out. So they got a bunch of those and they were getting rid of these guys. So that's where I picked that guy up. Um, and uh, I've pretty much been ridden it, riding it ever since. I haven't really done anything to it. Um, I've just got, uh, let's see here. I've just got the Jaws can on it, which as you can see, I had to weld this shut and or cut it off and then weld it. I don't touch exhaust in my arm. But uh, I did that because I got it for my birthday. So at some of the, my girlfriend went in and got it. But you know, obviously she doesn't know a lot about exhaust. So the guy's like, oh yeah, this one will fit. Sold her one for an 800. So that didn't fit. Went back to get another one. You're telling me it's gonna fit, but it was on off an 600 E-Tech. So I had to do a little bit of adjustment. And it's kind of a pain to get in because doesn't line up exactly perfect, but uh, sounds sweet, so. And I don't take it off that often, so whatever. Works for me. Um, track is an inch and three quarter. Uh, it's the, what is it, Backcountry X, I think it's called. Uh, it's not the stock track. Stock track is also a quarter, an uh, inch and a quarter, or three quarters, but uh, I sort of, Ripped that one, a big chunk out of that one, so I had to get a new one. Um, here we go, my sweet snow flap. Got that by uh, Proven Design Products. I got a little sticker up here, where is it? Where is it? Oh, yeah, there it is. And, uh, yeah. Um, it's got the bigger gas tank on it, so, you know, I can go further. Uh, we got my little, just a little couple pieces of uh, a rat there and down there from uh, ECD. Uh, what else we got going on here? I've got to put a bigger riser, you know, I'm 6'6", six, six, so I need all the help I can get there. Um, other than that, it's pretty much, well, I got the CNAs on there and the front blue piece, but other than that, it's pretty much all stock. I haven't really done anything to it. It's, uh, Got a crack here, which I fixed, but I guess all the, like this one, they all got cold and snapped off. Um, as you can see, I've rolled around the side, its side a couple times, and uh, that's how come there's the tape there, holding all of this together. So it's kind of, even like this piece, it's so much being held on by one uh, screw. But uh, yeah, everything else is going good. He's done me well, and uh, I gotta say, I'm very impressed with it. 
Um, yeah, I don't know. Anything else you want to know? Ask uh, down below and uh, who knows? Maybe I'll answer it. Well, I'll try to answer it. But I don't know, there's nothing else to really know about it. I mix 33 to 1. Follow the instructions. Um, I use Interceptor over there. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. I've never had the shocks redone. I've never had anything redone. Everything's the way I bought it. So after, I think this is the fifth year with it. So I gotta say, fifth year, fifth, fifth years, five years of this thing, and it's not like I drive it super soft. I go pretty, uh, I'm pretty hard on it, so that's pretty good. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to take her out tomorrow and then go for a good little ride, round up some people. It's also supposed to snow. We're gonna, supposed to get a lot of snow next week, so by next weekend we should have a bunch when I'm back. Then we'll be able to go for a good ride and we'll be able to get some good videos going. So uh, for now, I guess uh, that's it for now. That's a weird sentence, but whatever. That's it for now, and uh, thanks for watching. And uh, leave a comment if you want to see anything else or ask any questions about this thing, and I will uh, get back to it.